Good morning, folks. I wanted to make a quick video here talking about the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth crossover event happening in Crisis Ever Crisis. Uh, if you're trying to avoid spoilers, this might be an event that you do not want to play. <laughs> if you come open into the event, um, when it first starts out, you will be doing the Nibelheim flashback with Cloud and Sephiroth. Uh, predetermined party, predetermined sets, you can't do anything with it. The cutscenes taken in this are actually straight up from the demo from the uh, PlayStation 5 version, which is cool. That's fine. No big deal. However, uh, in the actual PlayStation 5 demo, the second piece of it is the Junon region where you really just get to test out battles. And I sort of thought that would be similar to what we're doing in here, just similar types of enemies and environments. But it actually turns out that the second part of the Ever Crisis crossover event is literally the beginning of Rebirth, including the cutscenes. So if you start playing right here at New Journey Begins, you will immediately be taken into a cutscene straight from Rebirth that involves the crew coming out. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with promotional materials like I have, I can tell you that the cutscene that plays here is an extended version of one of the promotional material videos. And if you don't want to experience these cutscenes through the phone game and instead you want to experience them organically in Rebirth, I really recommend you don't do this event. However, I also can't recommend you don't do this event because you get some pretty good gear for Cloud and Sephiroth. So what I would recommend is if you're going to participate in this event, uh, the screen will start black with white text, and as soon as you see that, get ready to skip the cutscene. It'll take you right into the battle afterwards, you can still get your rewards, you'll be good to go. So if you're trying to avoid a lot of cutscenes from the game, do not do anything. <laughs> Don't watch anything from stage 17 and on, because all of it has cutscenes from being in the grasslands to dealing with chocobos to being inside the mithril cave, and I really recommend you skip this cutscenes if you only want to experience them organically in Rebirth. Now on the other hand, if you're excited to see this stuff early, then get in there and enjoy these cutscenes because they are pretty cool uh, and they're pretty neat. Uh, but just be, just be aware that uh, if you don't want spoilers, make sure you get ready to skip these. Additionally, if you don't have this and you don't want to play it, I will be uploading the spoiler cutscenes in a unique playlist outside of this video. So if you're looking forward to that, Click on the playlist that appears up here on the screen somewhere and check out those cool cutscenes. If you made it this far, consider liking this video. And if you want to see more Final Fantasy VII content from my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we got a lot coming out.